Hi, welcome to RG Lecture. So this channel is dedicated to the students of physics and this particular playlist of AC circuit contains all the videos which are a part of syllabus of graduation level physics. It can be BSc physics, physics honors, electronics, electrical engineering and many such courses. So consider sharing these playlists and videos into your college and class groups. Also join my telegram group link is given in the description. Hi, in this video we will cover uh, the overview of the chapter or overview of the basic concepts. So from these topics I have created a separate video for resistance versus reactance versus impedance. Do watch that because that is the first video on YouTube with experiment. For RMS value I have created a separate video. In that video I have explained the RMS in three different ways, mathematical approach, physics and the real physics. And let's talk about these three topics. So these three topics do have a derivation with them but uh, in BSc that derivation is not expected in the university exams in India. In India I must say. Okay. So I will create a separate video for the derivations. So basically in this particular video I will just give a random overview. I will give an introduction. I will explain average value and I will give an overview of these topics. So the, in this video I will just give an overview of everything. So let's start. Talking about DC circuits, we have been studying DC circuits from our schools, right? The first circuit probably which we studied was Ohm's law was a DC circuit. How we differentiate between an AC and DC circuit? It is the voltage source which differentiates. In DC circuits, which we connect a battery. In AC sources, we connect a source of EMF. We connect a source of EMF or we connect an alternating source of voltage. What is the difference? The first basic difference is in DC current, everything was a constant. If I have applied 5 volt, circuit will be at 5 volt. In alternating voltage, it is not constant. Everything is sinusoidal. It changes its direction constantly. In half cycle, if it is voltage is in this direction, in the other half cycle, voltage will be in this direction. Now, what is the meaning of the sine wave? Basically, if you see a switchboard at your house, so what do you expect? Sine waves come? No. Voltage changes its direction constantly. If it is at this instant, at one point, it will be at this in the other. Okay, so voltage keeps on changing. And that change in direction with time we represent by wave of sine. That is the meaning behind this. Second thing, there was no concept of frequency in DC circuit. The voltage is of 5 volt and that's it. But in AC source, there is a concept of frequency. For example, frequency in India is 50 hertz, 50 cycles per second of AC voltage. So there was no concept in DC of frequency. Third thing, things don't have a direction in DC, right? Things don't have a direction. For example, uh, probably let me talk about direction. It's sine wave has a direction. It is in upward direction in one cycle. It is in the downward direction in one second. I am not talking about that current in the circuit. No, I am talking generally. Okay. There was no concept of phase in DC. Right. If there is a current, there is voltage, both will be in the same phase. But in AC, it is not like that. So the equations which represent the AC current and the AC voltage are look generally like this. Okay. And you know this is generally called as wave equation where these values are the peak values and this is my wave equation this is my trigonometric term and these terms are called as phase okay these terms represent phase probably this is a general wave equation i sin a sin omega t plus phi and this is called as phase so here current and voltages may be in same phase, may be in not, may be in out of phase. For example, there will be a circuit in which voltage is this in this direction and current is in this direction. Okay, so there is a phase difference of 90 degree. So circuit components will react in a different way. Okay, I will explain this in this video only. So basically, this is the basic difference between AC and DC. That is why AC circuit becomes important to study and the approach required to circuit AC study, AC circuit is completely different. Whatever you study in AC circuit, you will see in physics lab in FY, SY and TY. You will have experiments like LRCR circuit in the first year, 
you will have experiments like LCR circuit in the second year and many other such AC experiments. Also the equations which you are seeing, you can see suppose this is my uh, wave of voltage and this is my wave of current, you can see there is a phase difference. You can see there is a wave phase difference. So basically whatever you will study here, you can observe in the laboratory. This is the beauty of this unit. So let's talk, uh, talk about few terms. What is the average value of voltage and current over full cycle? Okay, so what is the average value? So everything is represented by a sine wave because I is equals to the I naught sine omega t. So if I want to represent I, it will be represented by sine wave with an amplitude of I zero. Okay, this is the wave you can represent. Same goes with E or V, whatever you denote, it is the same thing. So this is my zero time period, this is my time period T. This is called as one cycle, this is called as half cycle T by two. So if I see in half cycle, my current is in upward direction, say with a magnitude of two amps plus two amps. In the next half cycle, it is in the negative direction with, his, with the amplitude of minus 2 amps. So what will be the average? So average simply will be 0. So the average value of voltage or current in a full cycle is 0. Okay, same applies to voltage also. There was no such thing in DC. Average value can never be 0. Okay, and let me define an integral for that. So if you want to find the average value of anything, here is the integral to follow, okay, uh, I will explain this. Now if, suppose if you want to find average of few things, so what you do, you add the few things together and in denominator you add the number of those things, the same is there. In denominator you add the time itself and upward you add the function, whatever you are finding the average for. And integration is from 0 to t if you want to find time average till time t. So let's start about, let's start talking about average value of V and I over half cycle because full cycle is of no use of course. So what will happen in a half cycle? If I consider this half cycle, I will get average value. If I consider this half cycle again, I will get average value because uh, it is a symmetric graph. So average value of voltage over half cycle is 2V0 by pi. If my applied voltage is in this form which is in this form only in our studies and my current average over half cycle is again 2 i naught by pi because both equations are identical so identical equations will give identical results okay so these are my average values over half cycle that is from 0 to t by 2 okay and there is a method to find them you can see this is not for graduation students in graduation uh, these derivations are not expected so i will not cover but i have every written everything with step by step you can see if you want to find the integration apply that integral which i told okay and uh, simply you can substitute the limits e naught is a constant it is a peak value a constant it will come outside integration of sine omega t is minus cos omega t so here it is minus cos omega t and the thing which is with the term t will go downwards right in integration suppose there is an integral so the term with which is with x goes down so omega will go down and here you have to substitute the values of limits and i have did this in the separate slide final limits minus initial limits omega is 2 pi by t Right, so it will take you one minute, go through the derivation and you will find these results. This derivation will not come in exams probably uh, for the BSc students. Okay, of course it will not come because there is syllabus is different. Okay, this is from 12th but yes, you should know the basics. Okay, then there is some RMS value. I have created a separate video. RMS value is actually used in practical life. Okay, so current IRMS is this, it is given by this I have explained the RMS value in three different ways, mathematics, physics and real physics. Okay, so this is about RMS value. So conclusion, average value over full cycle is zero. Average value over a half cycle is given by this form. Okay, whether it is current and RMS value is given by peak value by root two or E naught by root two. Then there are some circuits which we will study in this chapter. Okay and these three are the basic circuits called as simple circuits okay so let's suppose i apply the current i is equals to the i naught sine omega t in this circuit 
what I get in result is voltage. Basically, we have to find E and I and I have to compare the both. I have to see what is the phase difference between them. So I will connect my AC voltage across a resistor. I will connect it across inductor and I will connect across capacitor. I have created a separate video with experimental approach. But here is let us go through the overview. So I get this as a result. So there is no phase difference. Right. So if I want to draw the phaser, so I will draw two parallel lines because I want the phaser difference phase difference to be zero. So this is all about AC circuit connected to a resistor. If I connect an inductor, yes, I get a phase difference. Suppose I supply the current I is equals to the I naught sine omega t. So I will get my voltage as E is equals to the E naught cos omega t. So there is a phase difference if I, if I convert it in terms of sine. So I will get a phase difference if I compare this equation with this. So yes, there is a phase difference of 90 degree. So if this is my current. This is my voltage. So this will be my current because voltage leads the current by 90 degree. I can see from this. From these two equations, I can conclude that E leads I by 90. Everything will be explained in detail in the upcoming videos. But this is just overview. Okay. And talking about capacitor. So in capacitor, basically what happens? In capacitor, if I give my current as this, I find that my voltage to be in this term. Okay, so again there is a phase difference of 90 degree, but what I can see is E, la e lags behind. Voltage is in minus 90. If you see in conductor, it is plus 90, right? So if this is my I, so this will be my C because here angle is 90, but it is in minus. So I can see I leads the capacitance by. 90 degree. So these circuits are called as simple circuits. Using them, we will make LR circuit, CR circuit, LCR circuit. Talking about resistance and reactance. So in AC circuits, components react. Okay. If I want to calculate my resistance across an inductor, it is called as XL, reactance across inductor. Though the function is same to, to offer the opposition, but I call it as reactance because reactance is defined by omega L omega is 2 pi fl so if suppose there is a circuit in which i have connected the dc components okay mm, dc components suppose there is a battery and i connect a resistance so if i make any changes in the circuit my resistance will do the same work because if i have connected a resistance of 100 ohms so if i do anything resistance will be of 100 ohms only so basically resistance does not react so it just offers the opposition but in AC circuits, we have reactive components, inductance, capacitance, those components not only offer the opposition, but also react to the oppositions or the changes which I make in the circuit. For example, if I increase the frequency, so my reactance across the inductor will increase. And if I increase the frequency, the reactance across my capacitor will decrease. So this is somewhat, somewhat concept about resistance versus reactance. So I think I should end this video. This video was just to give an overview of the chapter AC circuits. Every topic will be explained in much, 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 much more detail. So see you in the next video.